Hello, I'm Chris Moran, welcome back to Chicago Motor Cars. Today I'm spending time with one of the most legendary motor cars ever created. This is a 2005 Rolls-Royce Phantom. Now up front here behind the Spirit of Ecstasy, which is a signature of any Rolls-Royce, you're gonna find a six and three quarter liter V12 engine. Now everything under this uh, hood here looks absolutely astoundingly brand new, uh, super clean. Obviously we detailed, we wanna make it look as good as it possibly can, but uh, for a 13,000 mile example, it's exactly what you'd expect. Such low uh, mileage would equate to such a great condition. But this engine is fantastic, naturally aspirated, no turbocharging or supercharging, 453 horsepower, but what makes it incredible is the 531 foot-pounds of torque. Now, a lot of people would say you're not going to hot rod your Rolls Royce, but what really makes the V12 so special for this particular car is the way in the power is delivered. It's exactly what you'd expect of a Rolls Royce. The power it makes is seemingly effortless. It just wants to go. There's no sound when you drive it. it just, it's about as smooth as anything as you can imagine. We'll go for a quick walk around it. I really don't have much to show you because it really is in brand new condition all the way through. But uh, you can see they did add a clear bra across the front here to protect the paint, obviously. Uh, but everything else is as standard from the factory. These are the xenon headlamps that uh, light up. Obviously, you got a sprayer right there to clean those off. Uh, front park sensors, you do a front and rear park distance control on this car. This giant, beautiful silver grill that hosts the Spirit of Ecstasy, which this is neat. It's an anti-theft feature. Watch this. Can't steal it. It's going to hide itself right there. But coming around to the driver's side, there's really not much else to talk about. Everything else is in gorgeous shape. This is an optional 21-inch chrome wheel here. And you can see the RR here. Uh, always stays upright. Just kind of a neat feature of Rolls Royce again. But uh, this silver paint looks fantastic all the way down. You can see the handles for the uh, rear suicide door. All the chrome trim, everything's excellent. Uh, right back to the rear wheel. Nothing to complain about. Just taking a look at the rear onto the passenger side. There's really, again, not much to talk about. It is in excellent condition. You've got the park sensors here at the rear. Obviously, that gorgeous Chicago Motor Cars plate frame. Uh, back around to the passenger side. Uh, again, everything looks as uniform as it did from the factory. Uh, gorgeous condition. You can see that beautiful metallic flake in the paint. But wheels, tires, chrome trim, even these lightly tinted windows, all seems to complement this car perfectly. As you'd expect with a car this size, you're going to have a pretty large trunk. It is power operated. But one thing that's uh, particularly fascinating on this particular car are these wool carpets. They literally are carpets. They're shag carpet. You can see I can run my fingers through the uh, shag here. Uh, we've got a full set as well as a full second set that's just missing a driver's set. So we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mats here uh, in this large trunk, which also has a ton of storage uh, under the floorboard here where you can find the original owner's manuals. Just to close it, hit the button, walk away. Well, I'm out on the road in the Phantom right now, uh, and as you'd expect, it is among the most luxurious vehicles you can drive, ride in, experience, you name it. Um, this really leaves absolutely nothing to be desired as far as the driving experience. It's very smooth, very serene, very powerful, very comfortable. Uh, if you listen to my voice right now, I'm barely even speaking up because it's so quiet in this car. I'm going 50 miles an hour, you'd never know. Uh, even just the whole decor of this car, there's really nothing that, you know, is desired. you got a power tilt and telescope steering wheel and the signature thin rim uh, that you'd get with a Rolls Royce. But it drives great here. I'm coming up to a stop. The, uh, actually it just turned red, so that is the alignment there, obviously. Uh, it doesn't pull in either direction, so it does drive perfect. Uh, but comes to a nice dead stop here. Again, when you come to a stop in this car, you can't even tell the engine is idling. One, you don't have a tachometer. You have what's called a power reserve meter. So you can see I have 100% of the power reserve left here in the, in the uh, gauge cluster, letting me know that I have 100% of the 453 horsepower left to use uh, at my disposal. You also have a phenomenal stereo in here. It's a 21-speaker Lexicon surround sound system that is probably the best stereo I've ever heard. If you ever forget you're in the Rolls Royce, you can actually look right over the bonnet and see the Spirit of Ecstasy right in front of you. It's just pretty spectacular. Pretty spectacular. And you just, you kind of feel majestic. You sit up high, the visibility's awesome. Uh, and it is easy to drive. It's extremely easy to drive. It's a large car, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't handle like it either. It's actually somewhat responsive. 
it's not made to be a performance car, but again, uh, it does have some athletic prowess. And with that kind of horsepower putting out, you do need to be able to handle that, uh, and this certainly does. Just the visual presence of this car too demands a little bit of attention. It's so ostentatious looking. I mean, you don't drive a Rolls Royce to be indiscreet. You really, when you pull up in a car like this, it's gonna command some attention. It's huge, looks like absolutely no other car out there. This makes a Maybach look like a, an E-Class, just in comparison when you're talking luxury to luxury. Some other food for thought with this car they haven't really changed this. This came out for the 2004 model year, so even the 2013 uh, hasn't changed all that much. You know, there's some electronics updates, but overall, I mean, the same driveline, uh, same overall feel, uh, same overall accommodations, the interior is one and the same. And you gotta admit, these seats are awesome. Look at this, you just pop this open, you got all your seat adjustments right here. But here, listen, just accelerating. Oh, that's right, you really don't have anything to talk about her here. Turn on my turn signal. The old world craftsmanship is important to Rolls-Royce, so when you consider all these top-notch materials, like the veneers here, these are all hand-finished and hand-carved. And when you look at the dashboard, the veneers actually match the wood grain across, like even the gaps in between the panels, it's still the same piece of wood. Uh, and they actually archive the wood at the factory, so if you ever need to go back and cut another panel, they actually have libraries of this particular tree that this wood was made from. That is absolutely true. All this leather's hand stitched. You know, the chrome, everything is just polished to the best. You know, you get these pull handles here for the door release. While driving the car is awesome, the back seat actually does a lot for you too. Well, as you can guess, the backseat of a Rolls Phantom is probably one of the most luxurious places in the world. And that's exactly where I am right now. In perfect comfort, smooth, it's library quiet. We've even got the air conditioning at full crank because it's a, uh, a warm summer day here, but you really can't hear anything. Uh, just looking around, obviously I have like the craziest amount of room back here. Uh, and if I got hungry, if I brought my lunch with me, I could just pop my little picnic table out and have a little meal there. But when you really consider what all this is constructed of, it's the finest in leathers. You've got this beautiful cloth on the headliner that goes right into more of the leather. Got my uh, fold down mirror here. Hello, Chris. Obviously wood inlays all the way around. You've got some great ambient lighting, a leather pull strap, and your own climate system back here for both sides. And a very cushy armrest. I don't know, for my money, there's really not many other back seats I could, I'd want to occupy. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my ride here, but to get more information on this Phantom, you can check it out online. Find it on our website. You'll find us at chicagomotorcars.com. And when you're done there, check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash chicagomotorcars. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Take us home, Jeff.